and putting $10 tweaks head to head with a $100 tweaking service and everything in between to see exactly where your money makes a difference. Here's how the test works. I will dual boot my PC into a fresh install of Windows before every test. For each pack, I'll show the panel on screen, I'll go through the same recorded Fortnite drop, run a 10 minute benchmark on cap frame max, and log the average FPS, 1% lows, and latency. As soon as the run ends, I'll wipe the drive and move to the next price tier. Here's how I'll be scoring it. I will rank the average FPS out of 4 points, the 1% low will be out of 3 points, the input latency will be out of 2 points, and the ease of use will be out of 1 point. Once all 4 runs are complete, I'll post the scores side by side so you can see which price actually buys performance. Watch to the end to see the results. Alright, so I'm on a fresh install of Windows and I'm currently downloading Fortnite. I'll catch up to you guys when it's done downloading. Alright guys, Fortnite is downloaded and now I'm going to run a benchmark on this fresh install of Windows. For the fresh install of Windows, I had an average FPS of 271 and a 1% low of 67.4. The game felt super choppy and the frames weren't smooth, but I was still able to play well. For the latency, I had an average of 3.7 MS and a 1% high of 14.8. As for the scoring, Windows default gets a 0 for every category because your computer can simply run much better while tweaked. This is the basic $10 tweaking panel. It takes just a few minutes to apply and targets the most essential optimizations. Nothing crazy, just solid baseline improvements for FPS and input latency. Right away, the difference is noticeable. The FPS jumped from 271 to 297 on average, and the 1% lows nearly doubled, going from 67.4 to 97.3. The latency dropped slightly too, which saved off some input delay. The average latency went from 3.7 ms down to 3.4 ms, and the 1% spikes dropped from 14.8 to 11.5. Here's how the basic tweak scores out of 10. Average FPS, 1. 1% low, 1. Latency, 1. Ease of use, 0. With the total being a 3 out of 10. This is the Pro $20 tweaking panel, which is more advanced than the basic with deeper optimizations. It's designed to push your FPS higher and cut down latency without making things too complicated. There was a massive difference here. The average FPS jumped to 317 and the 1% lows are now at 148. That's more than double what I had with no tweaks and a big leap even from the basic pack. The latency improved too. The average input delay dropped further to 3.1 MS and the 1% highs were cut down to 9.2 MS. Everything just felt faster and more responsive. Here's how the Pro Tweak scores out of 10. Average FPS, 2. 1% low, 2. Latency, 1. Ease of use, 0. With the total being 5 out of 10. This is the $30 Extreme Panel. One of the most advanced panels available before going full premium. It's more advanced than the basic or pro tweaks, but still easy to apply if you follow the steps. Here's what the Extreme Tweaks gave me. My FPS jumped to 345 with 1% lows at 175. The input latency took another dip, down to 2.9 ms average with spikes staying low at 5.7 ms. Here's the extreme panel score out of 10. Average FPS, 3. 1% low, 3. Latency, 2. Ease of use, 1. With the total being a 9 out of 10. Finally, we had the $100 tweaking service. For $100, I got my PC tweaked with direct help from Risen. Let me show you how it went. To get this full optimization, I had Risen connect to my PC using AnyDesk, and he applied the tweaks. We hopped on a quick call, and he walked me through what he was doing while setting it all up. Here's what I got in this $100 package. I got the basics for $60, a $15 CPU overclock, $15 GPU overclock, and the $10 package to get under 60 processes, which totals out to $100. Here's what the full optimization gave me. The FPS boost was insane. With the 382 average FPS and 146 FPS on 1% lows. For the latency, I had a 2.6 MS average input delay with spikes touching 6.9 MS. Here's how the full optimization scores average FPS, 4, 1% low, 2, latency, 2, ease of use, 0. With the total being an 8 out of 10. Alright. Here's the full breakdown of all the tweak packs side by side. Windows default scored a 0, Basic gave me a small boost scoring a 3 out of 10, the Pro got a 5 out of 10, Extreme came in strong with a 9 out of 10, and the full optimization got an 8 out of 10. Now keep in mind, results will vary depending on your system, these are just the numbers I got on my setup, your hardware, background apps, and other factors can all affect performance. I'm not guaranteeing these exact results, but these tweaks are designed to help your PC run smoother and faster. If you want to try these tweaks yourself, you can get 15% off using my code LUNAT. I will 
will have his Discord and website linked in the description. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these tweaks or if you want to see more optimization content like this. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to boost your PC's performance.